Meg Whitman, you knew her as a woman who ran eBay. She may now be running HPQ. If some board members at Hewlett Packard have their way, John Ehrlichman is standing by with this news that Hewlett Packard's board is looking to replace CEO Leo Apotaker after less than a year. Well, Margaret, they're under a tremendous amount of pressure. Uh, what Bloomberg has learned is that the board is meeting to discuss their options, and possibly that can include ousting Leo Apotaker and putting Meg Whitman, who's a new board member who used to be at eBay, uh, into that job on an interim basis while they look for somebody who can right the ship. Look, what we know is that there have been three revised sales forecasts for HP since Leo Apotaker took over. Um, the communication strategy for the new plan, spinning off the PC business and buying a software company, Autonomy, for more than $10 billion was poorly communicated to Wall Street. And even internally, there were senior executives like Todd Bradley who oversees that PC business that didn't know it was happening right until the end. Not knowing things can breed mistrust. So internally, there are huge struggles for this company right now. And so what do you do next? Now, there are obviously a lot of talented board members at Hewlett Packard, including the chairman, Ray Lane. Uh, and some have said, well, why wouldn't Ray Lane potentially step into the CEO job? Well, the thinking that I'm hearing is that Ray Lane is the guy who has to oversee all of this stuff. They can't undo what they've already said they're going to do, buying autonomy and spinning off the PC business. And now he'll potentially, potentially, if they were to make an announcement, have to look for that new CEO. So you need somebody to do the day-to-day -day like Meg Whitman. The question is whether she has the experience in these particular areas, the businesses that HP are in, for her to be doing this job for the long term.